Good morning, friends. It is Sunday morning, and we are going to be doing some spring cleaning together. Just letting the dogs out here. It is supposed to be 70 degrees out today, which is, oh, I'm so excited. So I want to spend the day outside. It is uh, 7.30 right now, and it's actually not even that cold out here. It feels great. The dogs need to go potty. So what I want to do is actually tackle this patio area right here. It just looks... It needs some love. I have to keep a close eye on them because they like to run off. But what we have here is, boys, come. Go back inside, you little stinker. He tried to run off. No, no, no. <laughs> come on. So I want to show you, you can see how just kind of there's a lot of gook and the patio just looks really dirty. And there's a round where a chair was sitting all winter and you can kind of see the difference between the concrete color. That light color is what we want to get back to. So what we're going to do is move all this furniture in order to pressure wash. And also this is looking really gross. Uh, we are in the process of getting a new roof and gutter situation. But what happens right now is the gutters overflow right here and create algae. This is very slippery when it's wet. The chickens were over here all winter and so it's gross. And then what I want to do with this wood is right now I have three stacks, but there's not very much of it left, but I want to get it all just lined up along this back wall. One nice stack so that I don't have these three different stacks here. We're going to go inside and make some breakfast, probably unload the dishwasher, and then we are going to eat breakfast together. And he's going to help me come move furniture. And then we've got just some other cleaning. I've got planting to do, so we might get to some planting after we pressure wash. I just want to spend the day out here. My dog, one of them, went inside and the other one's back here, so I gotta come find him. So I think I'm gonna feed the chickens while we're out here. This one doesn't run off on me like the other one, so I can trust him a little bit better if he's out of my sight. This is Orbit. If you don't know, Orbit and Tibro are our two dogs. Orbit is our older dog. Tibro's our younger dog. And Tibro is Orbit spelled backwards. And that's how we came up with the name Tibro. So if I'm home, what I like to do, they do have a thing of food over there, but sometimes I'll give them some scratch and I'll just throw it like that and it's a little bit of entertainment for them. Orbit, let's go inside and make breakfast. Probably should collect their eggs right now, but I don't have a bowl and I know that there's a lot of eggs in there because I haven't done it in a couple days, so we'll come out later and do that. And we are gonna make a Dutch baby for breakfast. Super easy, it's a great way to use up a lot of eggs without having to have eggs for breakfast. The first thing we're gonna do is put some butter in a dish. I'm doubling this recipe because I'm not making a baked oatmeal today and it is Sunday. So I want Josh to be able to bring something to breakfast for the next couple days until I end up making a baked oatmeal. So that's gonna warm up in the oven. I just preheated the oven to 400 degrees. And now we're gonna make the batter. I have one cup of milk in here. I'm gonna microwave this for about 30 seconds just to warm it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be hot or anything, just not cold from the fridge. Now we're gonna add six eggs. I normally make this in my blender but my blender is dirty right now, so we're gonna use the stick blender, vanilla, some salt, just two tablespoons of sugar, and one cup of flour. And then we take our blender, and we just blend this up till it's very, very smooth. While I'm waiting for the oven to preheat, I'm gonna get the dishwasher unloaded so I can load it, because there is a sink full of dirty dishes. One of my goals every day is to try to get the dishwasher unloaded in the morning so I at least have some room in the dishwasher after putting the dirty dishes in to put dishes in throughout the day so that my sink tries to stay a little bit less cluttery with dirty dishes. Doesn't always happen but that is my goal. Our oven is preheated in the time it took me to unload and load the dishwasher which is perfect. Oh gosh, okay. My butter is a little bit brown, but that's okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our batter and working quickly, we're gonna pour the batter into this browned butter, we're gonna call it. <laughs> Looks good, smells good. Get all of that in here. 
This is really nice because it's like making a pancake, but you do not have to sit and flip pancakes, which I do not like to. And then all we do is put it back in the oven for about 30 minutes. And in this time while it's baking, I'm gonna go outside. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go start stacking wood. I'm gonna let Josh sleep in just a little bit more while this cooks. I on accident left the door open and there go my dogs. <laughs> the dogs are back in the house, back cut into my time on organizing this before that pancake's coming out of the oven. Stinkers. We heat our house the majority with our wood stove and we ran our wood stove for about five and a half months every single day. And I think I ordered about two and a half quarts of wood and that lasted us the whole time and this was what we had left over so I think moving forward I probably will order three quarts just so that I have a little extra just like this so that we can have some fire pits and things like that throughout the summer great start to the day I definitely need to sweep this up before we pressure wash but now let's go check on the breakfast it's probably about time it's gonna be good oh it's looking good that brown butter looks good anytime I double the recipe it doesn't get as bubbly as it normally does because there is so much more batter to it and it doesn't bother me I like the texture it's almost like a custard and I'm super not bummed or anything but I have strawberries in my house I hardly ever have fresh strawberries but I'm making or I made a pound cake for dinner tonight we're going to Josh's mom's house for family dinner and I made a pound cake and strawberries, and I really think that would be really good on the Dutch baby, but we cannot eat these until tonight. Josh really likes maple syrup on his. I like applesauce and strawberry jam on mine, so that's how I'm gonna make mine. I think I'm gonna make Josh a cup of coffee, and I'll bring him up breakfast in bed. I'm gonna go shower, not wash my hair or anything, just rinse off, get dressed, get ready to go. It's amazing how refreshed you feel after a shower. I'm ready to conquer the day. I have a pile of stuff here that I'm gonna take care of first, and then we're gonna sweep. Josh is out here, he's getting ready to set up the uh, pressure washer for me. I also wanna get our smoker cleaned so that when we go to use it this summer, it's clean, it's been sitting here, there's cobwebs, there's dust, it's gross, and it'll be nice to have it clean. is gross this is chicken feathers and chicken poo I am so glad that I'm doing this and that Josh built me that huge chicken run because now I don't have to stress about my patio being gross all the time I can just clean it today we're gonna get a fresh start I think I'm gonna throw away this rug we'll get a new one and it'll be really really nice just to have a clean fresh patio for the summer this rug here was left from the previous owner, so I don't feel bad getting rid of it. And that's why I kind of didn't mind that my chickens were on it, because it's just, it is what it was. And it'll be nice to get a new fresh one. I'm sweeping up all of this debris because I really don't want to pressure wash it. It'll just end up in that gravel area if I do. So we're going to take the time just to do a little bit of prep before we do pressure washing. I am kind of weird. I really do enjoy pressure washing. It's one of those kind of satisfying things to do. So I'm looking forward to it today. And then what I'm doing here is I'm taking off all of this furniture uh, cushions. They do need to be cleaned, so I'm gonna have to get to that, but I won't get to that today. We will deal with that later. Josh is getting the pressure washer set up, and what we've kind of come up with a plan, I'm gonna actually start pressure washing way over here first, because I wanna start, well, I'm not start, I've been bringing my plants out, my starts, every day to harden them off because they're gonna be going in the ground in the next couple days and inside my plants are right here through this window we took this window screen off and so I stand inside and I hand Josh the plants and he puts them out here so I want to get this area pressure washed first come around so that they have the longest time outside as possible because they've been sitting outside 
oh, yesterday they were out here probably eight hours. So I wanna try to get that area done first. And then we'll come around this way. And then the plan is instead of moving all the furniture now, cause it all kind of needs to be pressure washed. I'm going to pressure wash that back patio first. Then I'll pressure wash the furniture. We'll move the furniture onto the patio and we'll pressure wash the rest of this area. Well, there's a little change in plans. The pressure washer is not starting. So Josh is doing some Googling to figure out how to get it to start. So I don't want to waste this time. So I think what I'm going to do, so we're going to go out into the garden and we're going to start planting some things. I think we're going to plant some carrots. Yeah, I think I want to plant, what are these? Yeah, the Speedo carrots. These are pelleted, so they're going to be a lot easier to plant. I'll show you what that means when we go outside. And let's see. Do you know how to fix that? In theory. <laughs> so Josh just came downstairs and he said it might be the carburetor. And so he is going to go look into that. Okay, so I'm going to do contender green beans, jade green beans. If you want to know where I buy the majority of my seeds, I can link them down below. And let's see. Oh, I wanted to try the Blue Lake bush beans too. So we're going to plant three different varieties. So I'm going to bring these out with me. And then we have black beans that I want to plant. So I, I, well now I'm like, do I start planting? Or do I wait to see if he can fix it? Because it's so beautiful outside and the fact that it's really, really warm. I can plant when it's not so warm as long as it's not raining. But I don't really want to pressure wash unless it's super sunny and warm because I get soaked when I do it. So I have some black beans here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set these beans to the side and I think we'll go plant carrots because those take no time at all to plant. I still have all these containers to fill and pots. Even if we just get to filling them with soil, that would be a big accomplishment too. These are all the potatoes we got planted in case you missed it. This whole straw area right here are potatoes but I think I'm gonna expand it. I'm gonna do two more rows of potatoes right here. And it's gonna be a lot of potatoes because I still have these two huge bags of potatoes to plant. I think right here, what we'll do on the edge of these onions is we'll plant some carrots right here. I don't do anything special when I plant my carrots. I tried a couple different ways last year and nothing worked except to put them in the ground. So all I'm gonna do is make a little trench. I've tried the method of planting carrots where you put a piece of wood or cardboard over the soil to keep it moist. And that did not personally work for me at all because what happened was little rodents got in there and ate all my seeds. So I have found doing it this way works perfectly fine. You just need to make sure that you are consistent with watering and it's supposed to rain for the next five days. So I'll water them today and then I won't have to worry about watering them until they sprout. We got this whole section planted. Now what I think I wanna do is take these carrots and I wanna come over here and I think I wanna just take carrots and plant them in between the cabbages. If you look in here, that's an onion plant. I have one onion plant planted between all of these Brussels, not Brussels sprouts, these are cauliflower. And I think I wanna do the same thing over here, but with the carrots. Now these next carrots that I'm planting are not a pelleted carrot. And I wanna show you the size difference and why you might choose one over the other. Pelleted carrot seeds are like this, like I showed you. They have a little bit of clay, it's just clay around them and it makes it so you can hold the seed a lot easier and you can feel and kind of place the seed where you want and you don't have to do as much thinning. It saves time in the beginning because you can plant, you can space your plants appropriately. The problem with these is they are a little bit more expensive and they don't last as long. The vitality of a pelleted carrot is not as long as a non-pelleted carrot. Non-pelleted carrots are a lot cheaper because the, you know someone didn't go through the effort of putting clay around each individual seed. They take longer to plant because the seeds are so much smaller. And then 
I personally am not very good at planting non-pelleted carrots, so I always have to go through and thin my carrots, and I'm not very good at thinning my carrots, and so then my carrots don't get as big because they're too close together. The pros of non-pelleted carrot seeds though is the vitality of it lasts a whole lot longer than a pelleted carrot, and they are cheaper. So, and you can't get pelleted carrots in every variety too, so that's another thing. So. Just something to think about, the difference between why you might buy a pelleted carrot and why you might not buy a pelleted carrot. There is definitely not a right or wrong answer when it comes to that. It's just what works best for you, what variety you want, your budget, how long you want that seed to last. I'm just putting a little bit of a row here. So Josh just came out here and he told me that the pressure washer is probably a no-go because it has a plastic carburetor. He did a bunch of research and that pressure washer is known for that carburetor breaking. So what I think I'm gonna do is try to return that to Costco because that's where I bought it. And I've only used it one time. I think he's used it to wash his car twice. So hopefully Costco will be good and they'll return it because we bought it last summer. And while I'm out, I'm gonna take the truck to do the return. I'm also gonna go run to Wilco because I need to get some things to trellis at the peas because the peas are starting to grow and I used all my cattle panels yesterday to create my tomato trellises and you know what we're gonna make lemonade out of lemons and if all we do today is spend time in the garden together I am okay with that carrots planted between each one of these rows I just did one row because these cabbages are gonna get big and I don't know if this is a good idea. Did I do research? Absolutely not. But I love doing this kind of thing. I'm all about experimenting in the garden. I think that if you can find a place to put a seed, do it. And you know, I have done a couple things in my garden because I follow in experts. And some of those things have worked out great. And some have worked out absolutely terrible just because of my conditions. That's the thing. Everyone's garden and conditions environment are so different that you really just have to find what works best for you. There's some good rules to follow, but I'm, I'm not a good researcher and I think that's a good and bad thing because it lets me be a little bit more free in the garden, but also I probably could learn things if I did a little bit more research. But I love just throwing things in the ground, coming out here, feeling it. We got hundreds of carrots planted right now. And now I'm gonna go run to Costco, and see if we can do a return. Maybe I will get a frozen mocha. I didn't finish my coffee. Those things are so good and I haven't had one in a while. So let's, do you think you're gonna be able to find one or should I just kind of switch my brain to hanging out in the garden today? Um, I would put it at 50%. 50%, okay. I'm good with those odds. I'm good with whatever. But do you think before we go, we could put the plants outside? Yeah. Okay, okay, we're gonna put the plants outside because it is already 11 and I want them to be outside. Maybe we'll start planting some of those plants. We've got uh, all the zinnias we could plant today. So maybe we'll do that. So this is what we do. Josh is gonna open this window. You have to pull it up though. Okay. Like that. By far, some of the best plant starts I've ever done. Ever. Those grow lights I got this year, game, game, game changer. Look at this ginger, it's working. I can link the grow lights down below. I haven't done a whole video on the grow lights, but I can tell you it's made a world of difference and I'm so grateful to have them this year. You know what, I'm too excited about this. We can plant all of these zinnias, we can plant all the yarrow, we can plant, um, you know, technically we can plant the peppers and tomatoes. I am a little bit gun shy on that. They're getting really big. I topped a bunch of them the other day where I just came in and I went snip off the peppers and that's gonna make them grow a lot bushier. Let's just do that together right now. Let that compost in place. You can see here, I already snipped the tops of these ones. But I mean, look at these. I definitely am gonna plant the tomatoes. Oh, see, I don't want them flowering yet, so I'm gonna pick the flowers off. I don't want them really flowering until 
I put them outside. Look at these. These are all going to be the ones that we're going to put in pots. Costco took that back. Absolutely no questions asked. No problem at all. That was great. So when I went to Wilco, I went ahead and I got five of these what are called hog panels. I'm going to use these to trellis up my peas and I got five T-posts. And you know I couldn't go to Wilco without getting some plant starts. If you live in the Vancouver, Portland-ish area, I'd highly recommend going to Wilco for their plant starts because they're $1.99 for a four inch pot. They have a lot of selection. And so there's two plants in here. I got uh, just a zucchini and a yellow zucchini. I'm trying to think, what should we do now? I'm gonna need Josh to come help me take those out because they're definitely kind of spring loaded in there. And it's gonna be quite precarious getting these out. The people at Wilco are amazing. Great customer service, they loaded them. I just sat in my car, listened to some country music and enjoyed that while they loaded these up. So I'm gonna get Josh and see if he can help me. And we're gonna go ahead and trellis up the peas. I got all the peas transplanted that were right in the corner so we don't lose any peas. Josh is putting all the tea posts in and then we're gonna attach the hog panels to them. Josh was awesome and he stopped what he was doing in order to help me to get these trellises up. It definitely was easier with two people, especially because I had already planted out in the bed, so we were working around plants. But I have been bummed ever since I put my peas in the ground because I put them on this right side of the bed if you're looking at it. And I was telling Josh that because the last two years I put it on the other side of the bed and I just wish that I had done that again this year. And Josh made a really good point. <laughs> The sun, the way the sun comes in my backyard, by having them on this side of the bed where I planted them this year, it means the shade from this trellis is going to be on the walkways, not on the bed. If I, where I planted them the two years previous, my peas were shading out the bed instead of the walkway. So I'm actually really glad I planted them on this side of the bed. Super productive. We got the three trellises up. Josh is going inside to start some laundry. And then what I did is I got T-posts in these corners here. And what I'm gonna do with the last two hog panels that I bought is I'm gonna create an arch from here to here. And on this one from here to here. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna plant on these arches. It'll probably be melons, cucumbers, and maybe some pole beans. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm gonna have to transplant some of these flowers. This is borage and nasturtium, but that's okay. After Josh gets his laundry started, we're gonna get those two hog panels on these arches. So in the meantime, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I need to look to see what time it is. We don't, we have to be at dinner at five o'clock. I'm bringing dessert and I still need to get whipped cream. So we do need to do that. And it is 2.25 right now. So I have actually quite a bit of time. I, I brought out a bunch of zinnias that I kind of want to get planted. So I don't know, what should I do friends? And I also went ahead and I brought out a basket of uh, seeds, regroup and try to figure out what the next step is. Oh, and then we still need to do those potatoes. We did potatoes yesterday. <laughs> I brought out all the flowers, well not all, but most of the flowers, and I think we're gonna start planting some flowers. And my goal is to try to have this entire walkway just filled with flowers, so it'll be a really beautiful walkway. And then in the beds will be the produce. That's kind of the, the look I'm going for. So I'm just gonna start planting things randomly and seeing how it goes. I wanna get a bunch of flowers planted in more pots. So I started bringing more pots into the walkway and we need to fill them up with potting soil. This is just a potting soil I bought at my local nursery. It's actually my favorite one out of the five different ones I've tried so far this year. These are recycled hanging baskets. Every year our real estate agent gives us a couple hanging baskets and I've kept them all. So I am filling them with soil. So in these two big pots, right? Oh, that hurt. Nope, can't put my knees on the ground. There we go. In these two big pots, I want to put tomato, a tomato and a pepper right in the center. But around the outside, I want to plant some flowers. So the first flower I'm going to plant are 
these snapdragons and I already pinched the top off quite a few of them. I follow some flower farmers on YouTube and they say you should pinch your snapdragons so that they will get bushier and they'll produce more flowers. So that's what I'm doing. And you can see where I pinched over here. Can you see how there's these two big leaves here and here, so four, and then in the inside, there's more that are growing right, right there. So that is gonna create a bushier plant. So we are gonna pinch the tops of every one, just like you might pinch the tops of peppers. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six snapdragons that we started on March 9th. These peppers we're not gonna put in the ground yet. I don't even know what kind of peppers these are. They do not have a label. And then on this side, we have some poppies. They're not looking very good. I definitely killed a couple, but I think I have about six in here that will survive, but I think these three are, are goners, but that's okay. I think what I'm gonna do to get these out is just take a piece of wood and I'm gonna kinda pull them out that way. So the roots are a little bit tight down there, but not too bad. I'm gonna gently gently pull them apart. So we have two snapdragons here. Put one here, one over here. I think the other snapdragons will plant in the ground. Here we have some dandelions. We have some pink dandelions and some white dandelions. Which one should we plant in here? It's kind of funny we're planting dandelions, right? Plant the pink ones. I'm gonna try to, ah! I don't know how many dandelions are in here. I'm gonna peel off the leaves that don't look super hot. I didn't water these ones quite enough. I think that's more than one, but that's okay. The package said these grow like weeds because they technically are basically a weed. So these are both pink dandelions we're putting in here. I have two of my echinacea plants and they're so small. I'm gonna put one in each corner of this pot. We're gonna add some white to this one. These should have been planted a while ago. Look at that, that's not the best. But they should bounce back. I'm just gonna loosen that up a little bit. So I'm not 100% sure what this is. I think it's yarrow, but we'll find out when it blooms. Uh-oh, I just decapitated one. And I'm gonna put two zinnias. As I plant each plant, I am taking some time to water it in. It is 70 degrees today, which is the record high for us. And just to prevent shock from the plant, I wanna give them a nice good drink. And I have no rhyme or reason of what I'm planting where. Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking two different varieties of flowers and I'm picking the end of a bed and I'm just planting those two different varieties of flowers in that bed. I'm wanting it to look very whimsical and creative, but a little bit organized at the same time. So there's no real rhyme or reason of what's going where, just trying to mix and match the colors a little bit. The other day I planted a nasturtium here and here, and I think I'm gonna plant a marigold here and here. And then to keep the pattern, I'll do a nasturtium right there. I don't know how well these plants are gonna grow in the ground, not in a raised bed, but that's okay. Now I wanna talk about this tool that I'm using here and I've been using it all day. This was a gift from one of you in my PO box and I absolutely love it. It's kind of like a hybrid between a shovel and a knife. And so you can do a lot of things with it. I can link one down in the description box, but I just, I wanted to say thank you once again. I think I've had it for about six, I used it last summer. So I've had it for a while and it's one of my favorite gardening tools. And now what I'm doing is I'm gonna plant zinnias and pansies around this trellis. I haven't decided what I'm gonna plant in this trellis yet, 
but I really think it will be beautiful to have zinnias and pansies growing up around the peas or cucumbers or zucchinis, not zucchinis, loofahs, I don't know. Something's gonna be really pretty around this trellis. All right, it's four o'clock. I have one more thing I wanna plant and then I do need to go in and rinse off. I don't think I'm gonna have time to do my wash my hair, but at least have time to rinse, hopefully, and put some different clothes on. And then Josh and I probably won't have time to bring the tomatoes and peppers in until we get home, but that's okay. So I have two pots here that I just put here. They're pretty good size. On the end here, they're terracotta pots. I'm gonna fill them with dirt and I'm gonna put a yellow zucchini that I bought today in one and a green zucchini in the other one. Both of these pots are already halfway filled with potting soil, so I only have to fill them the rest of the way up. I've never grown a zucchini in a pot before, but we're gonna try it. No one told me you couldn't, so let's do it. When you buy your starts, way to save money is to look and see if you can find one that has two or three plants in it. And then when you go to plant, just very gently separate them. And now I've got two plants for the price of one. So this one is the green zucchini. We gotta find a place to plant this one too. We're gonna do the same thing with this one, very gently separate them. Zucchinis do not like their roots messed with. We're gonna plant this one here. And now let's go find a spot for these two. I haven't fully decided where I want my squash bed to be yet. Oh man. Now I kind of have to make a decision, don't I? I didn't plant squash in this bed last year, so since we're trying to move things as we can, we can't do everything in different spots just because of the sun here. Let's put two zucchini plants over here. I didn't have a chance to plant flowers along this bed yet. I will, I just haven't got to it yet. So I think I'm just gonna do this one here. That one there. I just had a thought that I probably should not be planting zucchini right now because I should wait till I plant my peppers and tomatoes in about four days because tonight's supposed to be 39 and then in the foreseeable future it should be like 45, 50-ish at night. But I already planted them. I don't have time to dig them up right now. And zucchinis really don't like their roots messed with. They were, I spent $4 on those four plants so I guess if they don't survive, survival of the fittest, and it is what it is. We got a lot of stuff planted, more stuff than I even showed you. This pile of pots and flowers is starting to diminish. My goal coming up really quickly is to get that taken care of because quite honestly, my garden is starting to look really, really pretty and that is not cute. We've got garbage bags, pots, uh, just a lot of miscellaneous. And so my goal will be to get that cleaned up. We still have a lot of flowers to plant. We still have all those potatoes to get to, but I didn't really want to do potatoes two days in a row. And so I got everything watered in. I want to say a huge thank you for hanging out with me today. And you know what? I did not get done what I wanted to get done today, but that's okay. Sometimes you have to just go with it. I'm bummed I brought in all of those cushions because now they're in my living room and I don't know if I'm gonna bring them out or not again but it's not supposed to be in the 70s like it is today I think it was like 70 degrees today for I don't know a while so we are not gonna be getting to pressure washing for a while but that's okay you know what I would rather spend time in the garden with you anyway than pressure wash I have about 10 minutes to get inside rinse off throw some clean clothes on. Oh my gosh, I just remembered we gotta go get whipped cream. We might be a couple minutes late, but that's okay. I think people will, will be glad that we got the whipped cream. I'm tired. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you wanna watch more of my videos, I'll put some videos right here. You can go enjoy those. Thanks for spending time with me. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're new, consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.